Shalom, 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 Israel. Right, so I'm going to open up. And just here, and I want to say, call for law. Yahweh, by Shema, my Shaka, Shah. Right, so uh, today, through the Spirit, going just through a few quick precepts, then on how to pray. All right, prayer one on one. Right, this is, um, start off in Matthew 6. Right, Matthew 6, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret. Right, so and you should be praying in secret. Right, you know, you should be praying in solitude. You know, you shouldn't be, you know, at the feast day, you know, in front of everybody. You, you, that's when you want to pray. You, you didn't pray yesterday, you know, when you were laying down, you know, on your phone all day, you know. But now you want to pray. You want to get on your knees in front of the whole congregation and throw up a prayer in the Hebrew, right? You know, that's not how it's supposed to go down. You know, you should be praying in solitude. You should be praying all, almost in secret. Oh, no, hey, it said, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall, just shall reward thee openly. And so the things you pray for in secret, hey, they're going to be brought forth to light. Huh? Whether you keep praying for brothers, keep praying for sisters, right? You fast for brothers, fast for sisters. And that's the things that should be going on. You know, brothers, you shouldn't be praying to be seen by men. You know, you should be praying to humbly beseech the God. I mean, hum, humbly beseech the just like the King of Kings, right? The, the just like the God of Gods, right? Yahweh Bashim Amashek Yahushah, right? Verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking, right? So when you pray, you know, don't think that you maybe say something 144 times that it's going to be heard at a higher higher magnitude, you know, that's going off, right? I'm going to get, because um, really you should be pre preparing what you want to say when you pray, right? This is Sirach chapter 33, verse 4. Prepare what to say, and so thou shalt be heard. Hey, because you're appearing before the Lord, man. And you're hoping these prayers reach up to the most high God that made you, that made everything that we see, that made things visible and invisible. You know? So, hey, but brothers, hey, you kind of prepare for an interview. You know, hey, you kind of pre prepare for class. You kind of prepare for work. You make sure you got your lunch, right? You know, hey, you prepare to do the groceries, to plan out what you're going to eat for dinner each day. It's how much more for the Lord, man. Hey, bringing your supplications and your worries and concerns straight to the Most High. You know? You know, and there's multiple ways to do it. Let's get started at 42. Hey, I know some brothers uh, and sisters, uh, they like to write it out. You know? They write out their um, things they want to pray for. Hey, it may be people. I, um, you know, they may pray for, you know, multitudes of different types of things, but they write it out. And that's how they prepare, right? It's a Sarah chapter 42, verse 7. Del deliver all things and number and weight and put all in writing, right? So, hey, put all things in writing, man. Right? So, hey, for some brothers and sisters, that's very beneficial, right? Well, hey, other brothers and sisters, hey, they may mentally prepare, right? Hey, they may list out a few things in their head before they pray, right, that they want to pray on, right? This is uh, Sirach chapter 18, verse number 23, right? Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempteth Yahweh. Hey, so you got to prepare yourself before you pray, right? You shouldn't just get down on your knees. Oh, we'll get that in a second, Lord willing. Or you shouldn't just get down you just have no idea what to say, you know, and you throw up a three-second prayer, you know, and it is what it is. You know, all you say is, thank you, Jesus. Bashim and Mashiach, I was shot. And you get up, huh? Okay, prepare, prepare what to say, right? And predominantly, especially when you're in the comfort of your spot, and whether it be house, apartment, damn dorm room, you know, wherever, you know, you should predominantly be throwing up um, the prayers um, on your hands and knees, right? Let's get this to 1 Samuel, 
All right, First Samuel chapter sock, not First Samuel, First Kings. So look, First Kings chapter eight, con, verse fifty-four. And it was so that when Solomon had made an and and end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto Yahweh, he arose from above the altar of the Lord, from kneeling on his knees. So Solomon, hey, this is a king, man. Brothers may feel some type of way about being on their knees. Hey, first of all, it's for the Lord. And, and we have an example. We have multiple examples, right? But this is one example, right? Solomon, the king of Israel, on his knees, praying and thanking the Most High, right? With his hands spread up to heaven. You know, being on your knees, that's very humble. You know, you shouldn't be talking to the Most High like he's your buddy. You know, you kind of just staring up in the sky you know <laughs> that's all right get it on your hands and knees man that's your creator he can destroy you right oh, let's go to first Kings 18 let's get another example you also can go to first Ezra chapter 8 you know but this is another about how Ezra was laying flat you know but this is first Kings chapter 18 if you don't want to look 42 uh, come, yep, this first Kings 18 verse 42. So, so Ahab went up to, to, to eat and to drink. And this, and Elijah went up to the top of Caramel and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. Hey, so Elijah, the man of the Lord, man, hey, Elijah said, hey, he said that if I be a man of the Lord, hey, let fire come down from heaven. And guess what? Fire came down from heaven, man. You know? Fire came down from heaven. Right? So this is a mighty man of the Lord. A mighty prophet. You know? And then he put his hand, he put his face in between his knees, man. Hey, you're praying to the hey, you're praying to the Most High, man. You're asking the Most High for things. You know, hey, you hey, in your prayer should just be you always asking. You just ask, 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 man. Hey, praise, hey, praise the Most High in your prayers. You know. Let's get this to Sirach chapter thirty. I mean, suck Sirach chapter seven, verse thirty. Right, so right, chapter seven, verse thirty. Love him that made thee with all thy strength. And forsake not his ministers. And so you have to love the Most High, man. Hey, praise the Most High, as it says in Psalms. And it says that in, um, we can actually get three holy children, right? Be, be diverse in this thing, you know? Con, uh, this is three holy children, chapter one, verse 28. Then did three as, just as, uh, as, as, out of one mouth praised and praised, glorified and blessed the Most High and the furnace, saying, Blessed art thou, O Yahweh, God of our fathers, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Right? And blessed is thy glorious and holy name, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holy glory, and to be praised and glorified above all forever. Hey, and this thing, and hey, these brothers are on fire, man. Hey, you see how long this thing is, man. You know, brothers are on fire, man. Let's, uh, we're going to read the last verse, right? Verse 68. Oh, um, oh, oh, all ye that worship Yahweh, bless the God of gods. Praise him and give him thanks for his mercy endure forever. So, hey, you have to praise the Most High, man. And you have angels that say, holy, holy, holy. You know, that's in the book of, um, I believe that's Isaiah chapter 6. I think. It's a lot here. Um, let, me, let me find it. I believe that's in uh, Isaiah, though. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3 and one cried unto another and said holy 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 
is Yahweh of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And you have angels that just say that. You can't even um, count how many times the angels have said that. And so praise the Most High, right? Don't always have to ask and beg for things. Hey, throw up this, man. Hey, I actually have this through the Spirit written down in the Hebrew, you know, and then hey, the Most High puts it on my spirit to throw up this to him through the Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. I'd right? say, holy, 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 man. And to say this whole thing, right? So, so like, hey, so like, you know, yeah, this is just a um, quick tutorial um, about how to pray, right? Hey, we should be fervent in prayers, right? It shouldn't be any doubt. Right? I'm going to get one verse, um, one more verse. I'm going to get uh, First John. It's the First John 3, right? And we'll close out through the Spirit, right? First John chapter 3, verse 22. And just, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. So John said, St. John, right? The A, the, just like the beloved apostle, right? The beloved disciple of the Lord, of Yahweh Shah. So A, whatever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. It's you have to have faith in that, man. Don't be faith hearted when, when you pray. Pursuing the Sirach 2, pursuing the James chapter 1, right? Be bold for the Lord and have faith that in whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, right? So that I want to say, La'ala Nawi Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach Kawashah, La'ala Nawi Kayah, Shamka Thankabad, Hallelujah, 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 and all praise to the Mosah, Shalom.